Hey, what's going on everybody? This is going to be another Android Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to display an image on your phone from a URL. So it can be like from Facebook or Instagram or just some random image URL and also how to dynamically resize it. Might as well kind of do like a dual tutorial here since a seek bar isn't really that interesting. But if you can dynamically resize an image, then it's a little more interesting. So here's a little demo here. I just have an image that's going to come from my Facebook and it's just a goofy picture of me and Jess and you can see here that it's uh, being dynamically resized so I'm gonna create a new project and we can get started okay my project name is gonna be download image from URL glide uh, I use, I said glide I attached glide in the name because that's the library that we're gonna be using to display the image from the URL so I was reading um, this blog post basically right here from cheese factory or in the cheese factory and it was actually really good it outlined how to use glide and then at the end of it and it told you why glide is better than using Picasso which is another really good uh, image downloading library and so take definitely read through that if you're interested I did and uh, there's a link in here that'll take you to the glide wiki I think it's right here yeah so then we can just go over to the wiki and uh, actually go over to the code section and follow the steps for um, getting started with glide so first thing we gotta do is grab the dependencies. Uh, we don't actually need support v4. We can just grab this. So we'll throw in the dependency and sync. Okay, close it. Now we're gonna add uh, internet permissions before I forget. While we're in the manifest, we're gonna have to add something else. If you take a look at the Cheese Factory blog post here, he talks about the default bitmap formatting and how Glide uses uh, less resources. And then he, but it's, he uses re less resources because the default quality is way less than what Picasso sets. But you can fix it by doing this little workaround here. If you are interested in, one, I'm not going to go into explaining it. If you're interested, just take a look at the blog post. But uh, so grab this text here and throw this into your, your manifest. Okay, now we're done in the manifest. Go back to the blog post and we've got to grab this class here called Glide Configuration and we're going to stick that in our project. So go to Java and create a new Java class, call it Glide Configuration. And you can see he sets the default config to a much more high quality configuration. And that's all you need to do. You don't need to do anything special. Just create the class and close it. Okay, now we'll build our layout. So go into Activity Main. And I already built the layout ahead of time, so I'm just going to throw it in here. All right, there's a layout, just a button, an image view, and a seek bar. You don't actually need the button. Like, you could do it without the button, but um, I just left the button in there because originally I didn't have the seek bar. But anyway, done with that. Now we can start writing our code. First thing, as always, is get your tag. Then we're going to declare some variables up top. All right, so we have our image view, seek bar, your starting width, starting length, uh, the progress width, progress length, and then the view. The progress width and progress length is going to be what's tracked by the seek bar, and then these are obviously just the starting width and height of the image. Now I'll declare everything in on create. Now we're going to create a. We're going to attach a seek bar seek bar change listener to the seek bar. So on seek bar change listener, and then do new new on seek bar change listener. We don't do anything with these methods, but just leave them in there. And we're going to add a little log just to notify us when changes are made to the seek bar, and print out the position of the seek bar, which is i. Oh, uh, I forgot to mention, in Activity Main, I set a max of 520, so the max value when the seek bar is at the all, all the way at the end will be 520, and by default, the start position is zero. So this is pretty straightforward. All we want to do is change the progress length and the progress width to I. So as the seek bar moves, the progress width and the progress length get set. Then we're going to use a method to set the image to the progress width and progress height. I'm going to call the method getImage, which is going to be our button too. So the button will also set the image. The only thing we have to be careful here for is if the seek bar gets to zero, um, the, the app will crash because the image will have a s size of zero. So we'll just do a little bit of error handling here. So if i is greater than zero, then we can do this stuff. Otherwise, that way we won't get an error and the app won't crash. So let's go and create this method. So instead of typing it all out, I can go back to activity main and click on the onClick method here. If you click somewhere in here and you click this little light bulb, it'll go create um, the method in main activity. So there we go. Close activity main. We'll also log the click. So now comes the glide stuff. 
So we don't even have to declare like a glide object or anything like that. We just go glide dot width and then we do the context and then we do dot load and then we paste the URL in here. So um, the Facebook URLs are very long. Like if you look up an image in Facebook, the URLs are huge. So I used a uh, URL shortener. So here's the Facebook image URL and you just paste it in here and go shorten URL and it gives you this nice short URL here. So then we can just copy it. It actually does a lot of other cool stuff too. You can like, it tracks clicks. Like you can go to analytics and track the clicks and where it came. It's pretty cool. But anyway, a little off topic. So we just get the URL and we pass the URL in here. And then go as bitmap into, and we need to do a new simple target. So this is for resizing. You don't need to do this if you don't resize. And then up here, we pass progress width and progress length. And then we just use the standard way to set images. We're not even going to use the glide. The glide library stuff is dumb now. Bitmap drawable, new bitmap, and then set the background to the bitmap. And that should be it, unless I forgot something. Let's run it and see if we get any errors. Okay, cross your fingers. Oh, it worked first time. That's great. Okay, so you can see that when I click on this, it loads the image, and as I drag the bar, it resizes the image. So that's it for this video. Where is that? I would highly suggest reading this blog post. It's really good. It talks about the resources and the speed of the different libraries, compares them. It's a, it's a really, really good article. And then, of course, check out the Glide Glide uh, library. I'll put all the links in the, in the description. If this video was helpful, definitely don't forget to leave a like. I started putting all my social media in my video descriptions. So if you're interested, follow me on Instagram, follow me on LinkedIn, definitely follow me on Twitter. I post everything to Twitter. So every time I come up with a new video, it's going to post on Twitter. And if you want to receive email notifications for when I post new tutorials, just go to my blog and there's a little link here that says subscribe to my mailing list. Just type in your email, your first name and your last name. I don't spam or anything. I just send out emails whenever I post new videos. So if you're interested in getting notifications when I'm when I release new videos, definitely sign up for my mailing list. Absolutely do not forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.